Welcome to Lisa's Pine Notes. My name is Lisa and today we are going to do a quick bun beanie. Yes, it has stretch on the top. If you've got fine hair or your child has fine hair, um, I have a lot of hair but it's very fine and thin and I find that most of the beanie hats out there with the large gaping middle are too much for me. My hair will silky slide right back down in there and won't stay on top at all. So what you're going to need is some old elastic bands and you know I've got these old ones with metal that I just want to get rid of or just use a child size or an adult size rubber band. I am using a size P16 hook or 11.5 millimeter and we're using the Wool Ease Thick and Quick Yarn. This is in the color Fisherman's and the beautiful camouflage color which you saw on my end of week update last week. So get your supplies and we will start making our bun beanie right here. I'm making this for my niece so I went with the child size elastic. You use what you have available to you and all you're going to do is loop on right to the elastic and single crochet around it. It's that easy. So all I did, you can see right here, is loop onto it make my single crochet and this is where I've got to remember to uh, to really not uh, pull too tightly nice and easy here we go keep the stitches loose because you're going to be adding into it here we are Nice cold winter day in Ohio today. Woke up and everything was ice coated. I just think that's a magic time of the year. Looping through. We've almost got this covered. Oops. See I start talking and I put an extra extra stitch in there. And yeah, we're gonna be doing half double, so <laughs> I wasn't too far off. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want an even number. And that's going to fill that perfectly. Down, up, pull. Slip stitch into that first one right there. Pull through. Bring up one. And half double crochet as I mentioned before right into that same stitch this will make your seam disappear and all we're going to do is another one in that same space we're doubling up This works up so quick and easy in this yarn. And two in the same stitch again, half double crochet, two, and you get the idea. Join me when you're back here and we'll slip stitch together. And I am on the last stitch right before we slip stitch it together and so we did around here in a single we're doing double crochet up here and we're going to join the top of the slip stitch slip one and right back into that same stitch 
I like to call this the one, two, three method. When you're doing a magic circle in the center or a uh, rubber band. And I really think I might just do my hats like this. This is so much easier. All right, I did two in that one. Now, what I mean by three is you're just going to, now you have three, two in the first, one, that makes your three. So this is my one, two, three system. Easy to remember, two in this one. And one, there's your, your set of three. So I'm doing two in one stitch, one, two in the next stitch, one, two in the next stitch, one, all the way around. And if your little guy is curly, that's just fine. That's how it's supposed to do. And I'll do one more with you. We have one stitch in here. So this one gets two, half double crochet, my three, two, one steps, and one. Well, meet me back here when you've done your three, two, one steps. All right, we completed our two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Now at this point, you've got to decide. I am making a child size hat, and if this fits the crown of your child, go ahead and don't add on any more. I am doing a 10 year old, so right on that level of being preteen. So I will do what one more increase and then stop. So slip stitching the top right here, chain one, going right back into that same stitch. There's your double. Single. Single. Yep, this is one, two, three, four now. Double. This is how I increase. If you increase a different way that makes sense to you, that's fine. I guess because I taught aerobics, I'm always used to one, two, three, four. <laughs> Here we go. So I've got two, three, four, two, three, Four. So increase any way you want to, but that's how I do the row before. We had two, one, two. This time we have two, single, single, two. Again, I'm going to refer it to like step aerobics. <laughs> so here you go. Work your way around and meet me when you have your desired increase. If you've got to do two more rows, go ahead and increase two more rows if you're doing a, an adult size because after this I'm going to change color. Here we are. You should be having a little bowl shaped and there's our rubber band right here. Now normally I would match it to the yarn but you know I wanted you guys to be able to see it here and your hair is going to cover it anyway. Use what you have. Don't go out and buy anything special. Now as long as you've got your increase is set. Go ahead and start doing singles all the way around. So I've already slip stitched to the top. I'm going to chain one right here and start my first half double crochet. And all we're going to do is do one in each step. So increase any way you are comfortable. Again, this is Creative Crochet with Lisa. Do how you like to do and I will meet you back here ready for my color change and from here on out I'm just doing double crochets in every single stitch. Here we go. This is like a half hour hat. Meet me back here. Your hat is now taking shape. You can see the top of it very clearly here. And here's the rubber band. Now I'm going to go ahead and change color. If you do not want to, you don't have to. This works up so fast and easy. I can see you making many, many gifts out of this. And I did test wear this. This type 
of closure keeps you warmer than anything that is open. Like I've seen openings as big as my brim right now, you know, and my child's hat right here. So I am going to add the cream and do a round and I will join you back here. But it should be looking like this right now. Got a little hat going on. Now I have brought my original adult size hat up here for comparison and I just wanted to tell you I did do double crochets to make this move a little bit faster and I kept the camouflage and the very end in single crochet with a slip stitch at the very bottom. So I went ahead, I joined my yarn here and I have two now from that slip stitch because I am going into a double crochet. This works up so fast and easy. And there's my first double crochet in the same spot that the slip stitch is. Yarn over, double crochet in your next, and work this all the way around for your little beanie. And meet me back here when you're done. And for the little beanie for the child size, I am just going to do one row of the cream here for the adult size to add some length for the top. I did make mine longer and then I'm going to go into the camouflage and if this is long enough I may stop at the camouflage. We'll take a look here. Again, we're single sl slip stitching, slip stitching right there. Pull up, tighten down, and I'm stopping. You can go ahead and add more rows of the double crochet till you get the desired crown. This would be your crown. This would be past your ears. If you like a hat that covers your ears, make it as long as you want. And I just thought I would show you. In fact, this may be big enough for a child, a mommy and me. And I am going to add camouflage on the bottom here. And then we're going to slip stitch the finish. So I'm going to change color and be right back. For the textural difference, I am going back to, just like I did in the larger or the, the mommy hat, if you will, I am going back to the single crochet all the way around. I've already made my slip stitch, my first stitch in the same stitch. We're going to find that next one and work our half double. Now if you continue on in the double crochet, that's up to you. This is Creative License, Creative Crochet, CC along with Lisa. Quick and easy Christmas gifts for you and the family. Like I said, I have little nieces and I just think these matching hats will be so cute. I have honestly a, a family full of males and my brother had two little girls. So my fun in creating for them. Hence, you know, if you watched my end of week video Friday uh, the 16th of December, I bought this camouflage color hoping to use it for mail, but it is just too pretty. And you can see I'm even wearing a teal shirt. I wear a lot of blues, greens, and that is no coincidence. This shirt I'm sure you have seen before. It's too pretty for men. So this color is camouflage and I'm going to continue on and then we're going to just finish off our little messy bun hat here. Okay, I've added my contrast color here and all we're going to do is slip stitch and any of you guys who know me know I don't like knots. I physically sew one way, then the other, then one way. So three times, three times this gets sewn in. And I tug on each, make sure they're nice and tight. Um, that's why I have a lot of ends in there. I haven't done them yet. But slip stitch, I always like to finish 
But the way I slip stitch is there's my first one, chain one, and to your next stitch, slip stitch it, and then chain one. I find, especially for hats, it will bind too tightly if you put this nice finishing edge on here and you don't chain one in between. So here we go. Chain one. Finishing out, rounding out our mommy and me, or in my case, niece and me. Little messy bun, ponytail hat, man bun. This color's neutral enough to be a man bun hat. So chain one slip stitch, chain one, all the way around till you have a nice finished edge. And I hope you enjoy this cute little tutorial. This is an adorable addition to the adult size hat here. And you can see this was made using the bigger rubber band and this one was used using the child size rubber band. So there you go. Enjoy the holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Let's make it a great day and crochet. Take care, everybody. This is Lisa.